Inside of Adolf Hitler's inner circle, there were always people who were plotting to stab others in the back, and men like Heinrich Himmler, Martin Bormann and Hermann Göring were always fighting for Hitler's eye and favour. During the Second World War, the Nazis sought to conquer and capture many different countries, and relied upon brainwashing to create soldiers who were completely devoted to the Nazi cause. Inside of the Third Reich, education was heavily Nazified to ensure that children were raised with the ideals that they wanted, and one man who was in control of the NSLB, the National Socialist Teachers League, was Fritz Wechtler. He was the most senior teacher inside of Hitler's Germany, and was involved in setting up much of the educational policies. But eventually he was turned upon by one of Hitler's closest, and because of this he was executed on the order of Hitler's headquarters towards the end of the war, weeks before the conflict came to an end. Join us today as we look at the execution of Fritz Wechtler, and to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Fritz Wechtler was born in 1891, and his father was a watchmaker. He attended the Volksschule, and then attended a specialist training academy for students who wanted to become primary school teachers. Wechtler then worked for two years as a teacher, before he volunteered for military service, and when the First World War broke out, he was sent to the Western Front to fight. He was then promoted to the rank of lieutenant, before he was made a commander of a company of machine gunners, but then in the spring of 1916, he was wounded in action twice. This ended his service for a short time on the front line, but he was then sent back in January 1918, before he was discharged from the army at the end of World War I. But then Fritz Fechtler returned to teaching, but in April 1926 he joined the Nazi party, and he founded the local branch of the Nazis in Wipper at Delhausen, and he then became the group leader there. Following this he then joined the SA, and continued to work in local government, being the only Nazi on certain councils. But then he rose throughout circles, and he was then the business manager and training officer for the Gau of Thuringia. He then became the deputy Gauleiter and regional leader under Fritz Saukel. However, Hitler saw his talents as a former educator, and with this he appointed Fritz Wechtler as the educational minister, and he then became part of the local cabinet. But when Hitler seized power, Wechtler remained as the education minister, and he was also made the deputy to the new minister-president. He kept these posts for a number of years, before he was then elected to the Reichstag. He continued to mix with Nazi circles, becoming a member of the SS, and he also was assigned to the staff of Heinrich Himmler for many years. But then, on the 5th of March 1935, the Gauleiter Hans Schwem died, and with this, Wachtler was appointed to the position of Gauleiter, or regional leader. But he encountered a rivalry with Ludwig Ruxjeschel, and this rivalry would continue for many years and come back to haunt Wechtler. The capital of Wechtler's area was Beirut, and Hitler regularly visited, and this was considered a high-profile job that Wechtler had been given. He then also became the head of the National Socialist Teachers League, and the head of the main office for education, and with this he was someone who now controlled the education of millions of children inside Nazi Germany. He would help dictate policies, and ensure that teachers were teaching the Nazi ideas and beliefs. But inside of his region, he was not considered the most popular official, and he was known for being a brutal and cutting man, with his language and actions towards those beneath him. But he also had a tendency to make shocking outbursts in public, fuelled by alcoholism. It was said of his reputation that, in place of the elegant, affable Shem, a brilliant orator, there appeared the ungainly figure of the oratically untalented and philistine Wechtler, whose dogged adherence to the party line soon earned him the epithet megalomaniac schoolteacher. He rigorously put the increasing draconian new laws into effect, above all those aimed at Jews and the churches. As an outsider he made many enemies in the area. Many complained about Fritz Wechtler's conduct, even to Hitler, and those close friends of Hitler even moaned, but he remained pretty much untouched for a number of years. Wechtler was involved in the planning of SS activities, and also organised Kristallnacht riots in his region, 
and the following day the Nazi government ordered a ban on property destroyed during this, as they believed that the riots would cause more militant action that they could not control. Werchtler also passed a law that ensured that all public school teachers would not teach religious subjects, but then Rudolf Hess ordered a U-turn on this as it was very unpopular. Inside his area, Flossenburg concentration camp was established, along with a number of other sub-camps. But Wechtler would also buy Hitler's former house and would live in it, and during the Second World War, he was appointed the Reich Defence Commissioner for his region, and he would later, as the war turned against the Germans, command the Volkssturm, the group of civilians who picked up arms to defend the Reich as the Allies and the Soviets approached. But Wechtler then came to terms with the fact that the war was lost, and that he could not stop the Allies attacking his region, and he did not allow a historic opera house to be used to defend the city. But he was failing in his jobs, as he did not report daily to the Führer headquarters with the state of the situation. This then led Martin Bormann, Hitler's personal secretary, to grow rather suspicious, and Bormann had ordered the National Socialist Teachers League to be closed, and all of Wechtler's offices were then closed. He knew that his influence was coming crashing down, but Hitler still remained rather loyal. In 1945, Hitler said that the city of Beruf would become a fortress, and the city was hit by a number of significant air raids, with one third of the city being levelled. In April 1945, Martin Bormann said that all the Gauleiters were to fight to the death and to lay their lives down for their districts. On the 11th of April, Werkler's city got hit bad. A very heavy air raid hit lots of the city, and a lot of it was left in ruin and on fire, but there were only 200 people left to defend. With this, Fritz Wechtler then decided to flee the city, along with his staff as the Americans approached. He left the city in a convoy, which had several lorries filled with alcohol, food and cigarettes, and then he set up offices at a hotel in Waldmunchen, around 100 miles from where he should have been. On the 14th of April, the city he was meant to look after was surrendered to the Americans without a fight, but the long-time rival of Wechtler, Ludwig Rutsch Deschel, then spoke to Martin Bormann, and he informed Hitler's secretary that Wechtler had deserted, and that he should be executed for his actions. But on the 19th of April, Fritz Wechtler was sacked of all his positions in the Nazi party, and he was even expelled from the party, and was accused of desertion and cowardice, which was considered a huge disgrace. But then Hitler's headquarters, and specifically Bormann, had dispatched Ruck Deschel, along with 35 members of the SS to the hotel, where Wechtler was staying, and he was then arrested. But then quickly the death sentence was read to Fritz Wechtler, and the SS soldiers who had been sent would act as the execution squad. He was taken outside of the hotel, and was ordered to stand to attention, but then quickly the SS firing squad shot, and with this a prominent Nazi was killed for deserting from his position. His enemy, Ruck Deschel, was later then given his job. But Fritz Weckler was a very senior man inside of Hitler's government, and he is often forgotten about. He was considered the most senior teacher in the whole of Nazi Germany, and he took steps to Nazify education to an extent that millions of children would be brainwashed. But he was executed incredibly quickly, after he deserted from his city, which he was meant to be protecting. He was not willing to lay his life down for the Nazi cause, and this was considered shocking and a betrayal in the eyes of Adolf Hitler. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.